Well, hello there, Dukely here, and today I'm going to play some Victoria 2. And um, I have played this game a few times. Let me just... Um, as smaller countries, I mean, the biggest country I played as was, as was Brazil, and I did a shitty job uh, because I tried to take some of these smaller countries, and the other ones got pissed off, and then America came, oops, America came, and they were mean, <clears throat> not very nice to me. So, uh, I think I'm going to pick someone smaller, but also stronger hitting. Um, perhaps Sweden. Sweden could be good. I tried playing as uh, Korea, J Japan one time. That was okay. Uh, when you do one of these, they all kind of ally, I've noticed. Um, if you could civilize China... You'd be in good shape to probably take some other countries like Tibet, Panjab, Afghanistan. All of these countries are in tight spots here. I wouldn't want to. Uh, I don't know. Nejd. Nejd. Ethiopia. Sokoto. 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 Portuguese. Africa. Madagascar. I think I tried playing as Madagascar. Um, and that wasn't too bad. It's amazing the amount of British territories there were, uh, before 1940. Is it 1940? 1941. I don't know. Something in there. Um, but yeah, I just, I mean, there's all these little islands out here. If you were playing as, like, Japan or one of these other countries, you could probably just take them. The only problem is, uh, when you play as Japan or Korea or China, you are stuck with these uncivilized people. But I think China could be number one. I think I want to do China. I think China could be number one. So, uh, I can see my old Japanese ones over there. I'm going to try China. Why not? Why not China? See this lovely loading screen? It's the same every goddamn time. Okay. No research set. Um, let's see, what's this? Alliance offer from Punjab, sure. Uh, from Tibet, is that what it said? Tibet? Uh, yeah, Tibet, okay. Jesus Christ. Uh, oh my god. I have a huge standing army. Uh, let me see my military really quick. Oh my god, my military is huge. I'm so used to playing these smaller countries where your, like, military limit is, like, 40. <laughs> and this one's 413. Uh, let's see what my budget must be immense. Oh boy. Um, don't need to increase my military spending, that's for sure. I have plenty of money in my military right now. Uh, this is all... Nope, I don't have India. Okay, that's obvious. Jesus Christ. Uh, Army of Forbidden Banners. Why is this one red? They don't have a leader. None of them have leaders. This is terrible. I don't need generals. Okay, let me let me go to politics first. At peace, have invented the rights of man, publishing industry, freedom of trade, private banks, post-Napoleonic thought. So, let's get that one first. Start that shit. Alright, production. What's my, um... I have an absolute monarchy. Alright, that's not very good. Prefer something else. What are you gonna do? Uh, if I just unclick, we'll see what happens here. My army is massive. Massive. I mean, I've never had a province where I, or a whole territory where I could zoom out so far and not see anything. Siam. Yeah, that's fine. Uh, let's change the map mode, too, so I can see who the hell's around me. Alright, here we go. Siam. Okay, there. that's where they are. Figured they were down there somewhere. Uh, oh, man. I made an alliance with Tibet. Shit. They're right... Prime territory. Public secret first farmers bank of... Yep. Is a part of the... Okay. Opposition to our rule. And to Manchu... And to Manchu settlement in the province. There's been talk of local government circles pushing nationalization of banks. Sure, go for it. I don't give a shit. Um, my money is going down. So I'm just going to tax some more folks here.
Who's this? Japan. Yeah. Alright. There we go. Budget mastermind. Uh, so there's not really any sound here in this, so if you're just listening to me, I'm sorry. Um, I'm trying to think of what we can take first here. Uh, if I can get my country big enough... 67. My military power is quite good. Uh, I can't make my own factories because I'm not civilized, which kind of sucks. Let's put more money into education. Let's see if that. Yep, that's biting me in the ass already. Let's just jack up the taxes for the people. I could probably also cut military spending. Uh, just a little bit. Oh boy, this is looking really good. Oh. Uh, it's fine. We already have rebellions. Quite large ones. This one's... That one's got a quarter million people. Almost. Alliance from who? Sikkim. Shit is that. I assume it's one of these small ones, small goobers. Fine, I don't care. Clear this out. Uh, hmm. I, could, I suppose I could take Korea. What's this? Is this the Korean army here? And what is? What do I look? What's it looking like? I mean, I have a shitload of stuff. Uh, if I just one of these. Oh boy, that's quite a few troops. Uh, I'm just gonna kind of like mass them down here in Korea, just in case we start some shit. Okay, there's Beijing. You're fine there. You're fi I don't need two armies that big in the middle. Uh, pretty much only want them on the borders. Uh, what's this? That's Tibet. I'm not really worried about them. I'm gonna put some people over there anyway. Uh, what else do I have around here? You guys can go there. Here's this again. Go there. Go on the sides. I don't want you standing around the middle. You just stand in there too? Go stand over there. That should look pretty good. Uh, I suppose I can build some more military units. I don't know why not. Oh boy. Um, I wish you could organize these alphabetically so that I could build them all just in the capital. Because, like, I don't want to have to go and find these after. Oy vey, there's a shitload of them, fuckers. Uh, Beijing, there we are. Okay, so Beijing is near the bottom. Nanjing. Probably totally missed it, and you're yelling at me right now. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. This is terrible. Beijing, goddammit, where are you? Alright, fine, let's make them all in Han Quig. I got a holder. Alright. What's this? <clears throat> Nepal, yeah. Sure. Not exactly sure where that is. Pardon me, I'm taking a drink here. That's delicious. Alright. Now it can sound sound a little better. Just woke up, that's why I sound so shitty today. <clears throat> lovely allergies and this lovely winter's day, even though there's no friggin' snow, because global warming and all that. But, uh... You know, it's a nice time to play Victoria 2. I mean, it's no Hearts of Iron 3, but... It'll work. It'll work. Okay, so we got some Chinese... Anarcho... Anarcho... Liberals. It's interesting. The Citizen Guard are militant liberals who have risen up in... Whoops. Rebellion against the real or perceived oppressive practices of the government and the state apparatus seeking to protect their personal liberty, whatever the cost, fighting against the tyrannical state, 
These revolutionaries consider themselves freedom fighters in the true sense of the word. A dried up old traveler is returning from the wilderness. When given a whiskey, he says with a hoarse voice, Gold! I found gold! A mountain of gold! Okay, can trade in. Can cha change trade goods in <laughs> to precious metal. Knock yourself out! What's this? Oh, I don't want to lose any research points, so I'm going to go ahead and pick that one. Luag Prabang. <laughs> Sounds like a Chinese porn star. Lu Bang. Sorry, I just offended somebody, I'm sure. But that's okay, Apollo does that all the time for me. Wait to see the new Men of War video that we made. Very offensive in the beginning, all Apollo, nothing to do with me, so don't even try to blame me. Okay, this is going to be merge selected. Why is this one taking such hits, moving from, like, one place over to another? These guys look like hobos. The uniform is stupid. Also, I have no military leaders. Probably because I'm not paying enough uh, for officers. Um... That's pretty good there, I like that. Uh, administration, I don't need to put any more money there. Um, oh, let's make sure we don't have a loan. No, I don't. Uh, the Ottomans always take the, they always take the most loans. I don't know what's wrong with them, their economy, but it's, I would never want to play as them just because I always see them taking loans. And, uh, and they rarely pay them back. So I don't even know at what time the Ottomans would have gone to, like, who they would have been fighting at this point. Probably Persia. Um, this is not my area of history at all, so I don't really know a lot about this. Uh, consciousness, Pots in Beijing, Gang 3 Militancy. That sounds fine. There's Holstein, they always go bankrupt. I have no fucking idea where it is. I assume it's in this area down here. Because these are all, like, broken up, uh, former, um, yeah, uh, former, what's it? God damn it, I can't think of it. Holy Roman Empire. So these are all, like, broken up pieces of that, and I, I think one of them is, is Holstein. Or Helstein, or whatever the hell it was. <laughs> Helstein, or whatever the hell it was. Okay, let's go back over to our, our shit here. I have to stay like this to actually keep the whole country in my area. Stockpile the extra tea, because I fucking love tea. Uh, okay, so here's my extra cannons are here, yes? They have no cannons in any of their armies, so I'm going to go ahead and just give them to Beijing. Actually, let's move one of them. Where does it go? Cannon, cannon, cannon. Create new. Let's give um two of these. No, just one, just one. Close. All right, and uh, select. You're gonna go down here to this. So what do you have in here? Ah, uh, oh, shitload of irregulars. Oh crap. Who's this? Bhutan. Just like button, I guess. Bhutan. Yeah, I accept that. That's f absolutely lovely. I hate these fucking things that pop up over here. Annoy the shit out of me. Um, I don't know what else to do right now. It's going to be a bit boring, I assume. But people like these, I think. I mean, I've watched them before. Um, I watched some Hearts of Iron on YouTube. I watched some, uh, some Crusader Kings. I used to play Crusader Kings, but then I moved on to these because... Uh, I don't know. I like the family aspect of uh, Crusader Kings. I don't have that in this one, um, which is too bad because that's a really good, good idea that they did there, that they had there. Okay, so now my uh, my border army does have a general. Let's see if I can't find where all these troops are being raised. Probably gonna be somewhere. 
the middle. I had an A. I remember I had an A, and it was like Akuga or something like that. Eh, 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 eh. I'm not sure. They'll be there when we need them. That's what matters. That was totally my chair, not me. Uh, let's see. I these are really confusing menus in here when you look at the population. So we're still working on post Napoleonic thought. I'm just gonna jack the speed right the hell up here. I'm probably gonna start a war in Korea. Uh, just because it'll increase my prestige and, and some other things. I really wish I could change. Maybe I can change my politics. Uh, the tea in China. Yeah, stockpile. What? Yeah, all right. Um, what did I want to do? I forgot completely already. I want to change, but what for? Oh, because I want to build industrial. That's fine. I need to actually become civilized before I can... Portugal? Sure. Uh, before I can be effective industrialized, I need to become a civilized nation. Um, which is becoming difficult at the moment. Migrate the policy slightly. Yes. Uh, taking China would definitely make me look very good. So I need a, a Korea, I mean, taking Korea. Because, uh, you know, you have to have some good prestige before you can... So you have to have prestige of at least 40 out of zero. Military, th military score higher than 50. That's easy. Usually I struggle with that one. post Napoleonic like thought, all the other, other ones are really easy. It's just the uh, prestige and sometimes the military can be difficult if you're a small country. Um, most likely I want two, two armies to go through Korea uh, because most of their provinces are double length, sort of. I could probably split that in two, but I could take heavy, heavy losses. Um, this area, Jilin. Where are these people being made? What the hell's my flag? Okay, I have that. Um, aha! I found him. Alright. Head over there, fella. What's this army here? Yeah, you can go up here too. Is that an extra army there? Send you there. Just made another one down here, didn't I? Yep. Check it out up there, it's pretty awesome. And King, our new upper house has been assembled. Thanks. Even though I should be emperor, if I'm not mistaken. That's fine. It's cool. Uh, what's this? Who's this? Panjab. Call ally. Oh shit! Let's slow down. Could uh, get into some nice fighting here. War of the Stringers. Concession against the United Kingdom. Holy fuck. Uh, this could end us right here now. Let's fucking go for it. Not war with the United Kingdom. This is gonna be terrible. It's gonna be bad. Paying jabs down here. Okay, I can attack. Uh, let's see if I can get some t uh, Tibet to give me some military access. Military access. Likely. Proceed. Uh, decided. Okay. Now let's take these two armies that I was just cooking up over here. And we're gonna go on a bit of a tour, boys, through British India. Okay, luckily I have this guy down here already. Who's this? It's Tibet, alright. And, uh... I have enough stuff on that end, I can leave them. I sent you, right? Who did I send?
Army of who? Something, 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 something. Take these guys and we'll sweep up. Whoa, what's a mess there? Let's try that. Uh, let's see if we can't take some of their shit. Take this first one, I don't give a shit. And we'll take that one. Offer of military access from Burma. Oh, thank you. How'd you know I needed that? Now try going through. Alright, now you go right through there. And three of you asshats standing there. Go over here. I'll keep these guys up here. I think I have enough stuff down there. I'm not really worried about about it. Um, I am gonna build some more troops though, just because this could get interesting. I have no idea where these places are. Uh, just. Pringle, I just saw Pringle. Pingle, that's funny enough. Oh, okay, they had... Alright, whatever. <laughs> Excellent. Uh, the next thing I needed was... Um, private banks is one of them. Fairly, fairly, sure, fairly certain it is. Private banks, freedom of trade, yeah, alright. Pretty much all the basic ones that I don't even have. Okay, how are we doing down here? Where are we? Okay, we're getting there. Wow. That's me? No, that's not me. I was going to say, I, oh my god, that's me there. I've taken quite a, quite a few losses there. Jesus Christ, look at my, uh... What's this, my consumption or my organization? is just terrible. My supply consumption is horrendous. Um, stockpiles are full. It's just that my my technology is really shitty, so it's like hard for me to take over stuff because my supply consumption is horrible, horrible. Who's down here? Um, okay, we got some extra troops here. I'm just gonna merge those and send them to reinforce that army. That's suffering from heavy attrition and uh... this is on the wrong border god damn uh, okay how we doing down here yeah we almost got this almost got this and hopefully when I do take these oh shit it was the British uh, I can uh... oh boy oh boy oh boy Oh crap. Get out of there, boys. Ah, oh, shit. <laughs> and the British just shot my ass apart. Killed quite a few of my peeps. Just gonna send everybody right here. This army needs a leader. Oh crap, I don't have any extras. Uh. You guys can watch me completely fail at life at this right now. It's doing shitty as balls. What's this? This must be good. China gains humiliate since cast a spell eye on Portugal. Okay. Fuck, I'd want that for. I could take that annoying piece of Portugal that's down there. Then I don't know what I would do. Oh shit, the British are attacking me down here now. Let's get some backup. Backup in there. Okay, we kicked their ass, they're leaving. Let's take, uh... Anything extra that's on the bottom here. Oh, wait a minute. Oh, these damn British, look what they're doing. Taking my goddamn island. Taking Taiwan. Those dirty bastards. Who's this? Peace offer. We are seeing the demand. Demand Stringer. Where the hell's Stringer? 
decline. I don't even know where that is. Stringer. It's probably one of these border countries, I would assume. I'm not going to give them territory at a loss of my people. What's this? What do you want now? No, I don't want that goddamn thing from you. Stop asking me. Stupid jerk. I'm going to shoot you the hell out of my China. Nationalize the bank. Stockpile the extra friggin' tea. Die, 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 die. Yeah. You know what? I don't want to give you Stringar. Stringar. Where is... What's it? This place I was supposed to be friggin' helping. Panjab. They've completely lost. They completely lost. So I don't even know why I tried to help them there. I should just let them die. Um. Migrate the policy slightly. Build me some friggin' armies. Just build all the infantry you can. I mean, I have absolutely immense um, just amount of people for my army. Just building 50 armies right now. That should be sufficient. It's 50 times 3. It's 150,000 men. Uh, that's pretty good. Pretty damn good. So they got that for me. That's fine. Um, we got a shitload of guys down here. See if I can't get into, uh, this area over here. See if I can't call some allies in as well. Um, call ally. Impossible. So it's like, you can be, you can be a really nice person and just not I go against the war against their sphere leader basically the game's really unforgiving towards you asking them for war you asking people to help you because they usually don't but they ask you and if you don't accept then we won't be friends anymore so it's like I don't know what you want British India would be really nice to add to China, don't you think? Uh, just gonna be a hard time taking it, I'm sure. Uh, what's over... what's this? Who's that? British again. I don't have a navy, do I? Nope, I don't have a navy at all. Let's build these all in one place. Hong Kong. Of course, the British probably has humongous navies over here. What is Sringar? What is that? Let me try to make a deal with them. Let me try to make a deal with them, because I don't... Let's pause this for a second. Um, what is Sringar? Demand that Punjab secede territory to form a colonial concession. Proceed. give them... Okay, fine. Now, demand string I press... Oh, shit. I want this. I actually want this, because it'll give Panjab freedom. And Brit... Because China just doesn't want to fight. Okay. Alright. That was good. So they just got that piece there, but then it made Panjabi, or Panjab, whatever, its own friggin' country. So that was in my favor, and I don't know why I... That, sh that goes, goes to tell you, make sure you know what you're looking at. Shit like that happens. Alright, I have no idea how long I've been playing this. I'll probably up upload all this in one go. Unless it's like an hour, and I'll split it in half. But I don't think it's been an hour. Um, but if you guys like, you guys want to see more of this, and, and you think it's interesting, let me know, and I'll, I'll record some more, because I like this game a lot. Um might move on to something else. Um, I don't know. Depends on what you guys think of it. So please let me know what you think. Uh, you can put some comments down there. You can click that little thumbs up. Um, you can subscribe if you want to see some more 
similar things. I do a lot of strategy stuff. Um, I don't know if I've done a lot lately. But anyway, yes, have a nice day. And I'll talk to you guys uh, some other time.